So guys, this is Baku's their own little Venice moment happening here. It's so pretty, so romantic. I absolutely love it. We are here in Baku, Azerbaijan, and I cannot contain my excitement to explore this beautiful city. I'm here for four days and will be showing you around the best and iconic locations to explore. Best part of my trip coincides with the Formula One Grand Prix race happening here. So let's get your sneak peek into that as well. The flight to Baku from UAE is three hours. And from India, it takes about four hours to reach Baku, Azerbaijan. It's super convenient to visit Azerbaijan from the UAE since there's a visa on arrival facility which costs 80, 110 per person. The best time to visit Baku is April to June and September to February. Azerbaijan currency is called as Manat. While traveling from UAE or India to Azerbaijan, keep in mind that one Azerbaijani Manat is 2.14 dirhams and 47 Indian rupees. Azerbaijan is also known as the Land of Fire. It's an exotic country in Western Asia and Eastern Europe. In summers, the sun doesn't set here until 7.30 p.m. It's 7 p.m. you guys and the sun is still out. For many travelers, Azerbaijan is not always the first country that comes to mind when planning a holiday. But it's time to think again. This hidden gem is full of historical and cultural heritage, hospitable locals, and endless sights to see. But first, let's grab a bite before we head out to explore the old city. While planning your trip to Baku, we recommend traveling for at least five days for a good in-depth tour of the Baku city. Our first stop is Maiden Tower. This building represents a story of the historic evolution of Baku city. So apparently, this is the 9th century mosque. We saw the Muhammad Mosque where irrespective of being Shia or a Sunni Muslim, both pray here together. Our next stop is Baku's old city walls and the decorative doorways in the old city. And we must say, the architecture and vibe of the old city is just stunning. Well, that one was a fun and action-packed day. It's time to head back to our hotel and get some good night's sleep. So, see you tomorrow. Just checked into the room, you guys. I am exhausted. Oh. Good morning from the beautiful city of Baku. Let's kickstart our day with a traditional breakfast. And for that, we are here at Salam Baku. The food here tastes absolutely delicious and the views from this place are breathtaking as well. Alright okay guys, so one of the most traditional things about the Baku breakfast is you take this bread, you take a piece of it and I'm here going to be putting this cream on top like that and then we're going to take some honey and we put it on top and there you have it after enjoying this big fat breakfast we are now going to the Heydar Aliyev center we've come to visit one of the main attractions in Azerbaijan it's right behind me this beautiful uh, museum it's called Heydar Aliyev museum I'm really excited to check out what's inside because apparently there's a lot for us to discover Heather Aliyev Center is one of the most recognized architectural landmarks worldwide, especially because of its unique shape. When visiting Heather Aliyev Center, the entrance fee for it is 15 manat. This building is a museum, a workshop, exhibition, and a conference center all in one. Apart from its grand design, Heather Aliyev Center is used for country's cultural programs and more. Just look at that. It looks like a fluid shaped building that has literally zero sharp angles. It's a must visit when visiting Baku. 
Post our museum tour, we are now heading straight to Chaibagi in the old city to have some delicious meal while enjoying the pleasant weather and views of the old city. shops that lend its own charm to the city and as well as live music at every corner. Baku Museum of Miniature Books is the only museum of miniature books in the world located at the old city in Baku. It was also awarded the certificate of the Guinness World Records as the largest private museum of miniature books. So right now we are at this museum where basically all around you you have the miniature books tiny tiny books all around and it's a whole museum on it. Baku at night is magic and to experience more of it we are off to the Highland Park to enjoy the city views and views of the flame tower. One of the most remarkable nightlifes you're gonna find it here in the old city. It's just as beautiful as it is during the day. Whether it's the food, the music, the culture or the beautiful architecture you have it all in here in this old city. So right now we've come to a place where again, it's filled with rich history and culture that's absolutely beautiful. But right now, the place that we're currently at has a view that is breathtaking. It's a panoramic uh, view, so I'm gonna show you guys and it's insane. now visiting the carpet museum and post that we are so excited to go and attend Formula 1's day 1 event. So we already knew that Azerbaijan is really big on its rich heritage, culture and history. And just like that we've come to the carpet museum where we get to know a lot of history and a lot of information about how carpets are made here. The museum dives deep into the techniques used to make carpets. It was established in 1967 and has the largest collection of Azerbaijani carpets in the world. Baku, basically the East is very rich in its culture and history and that's what I'm getting to see here. A lot of carpets, a lot of like culture representation is happening here and apparently Baku is known, Azerbaijan is known for its carpet making which is something really interesting that I didn't know. Um, all this while I, w I thought it was like Iran, you know, like Iran are known for their carpets, but actually Azerbaijan is also really big on carpets. So guys, this is Baku's their own little Venice moment happening here. It's so pretty, so romantic. I absolutely love it. Okay guys, so we are currently headed to the F1 fan zone where it's the first day but towards the main event but today also we're gonna get to see a lot of the racing and a lot of the practice stuff that's gonna be happening and obviously you guys are gonna get to see it as well so stay tuned! Now it's time to experience some thrills and for that we are heading to attend the mega event of the year and that is Formula 1. Baku is the newest street circuit on the Formula 1 calendar, joining the ranks of Monaco, Melbourne and Singapore. Paddock Club is a lounge sitting area with dedicated seats. Here you can enjoy a live view of the race outdoors or on the big screen sitting inside enjoying your meals and drinks. While F1, the main event is happening tomorrow, today we have the practice rounds and then we have the qualifying rounds which will go and lead up to the F1 race tomorrow. Alright you guys, we're on the uh, track, we're taking a track tour of the F1 track. Alright you guys, so after the track tour, now we're walking on the pit lane, very close to the circuit right here and yeah, this is what we got, a really close view of the track.
Now while that was one thrilling day, tomorrow we will be attending the finals of Formula 1 and we can't wait to experience some speed and enjoy the sound of the supercars that will be racing on the tracks. So the F2 round is done. So we're done with the F2 and now we're headed for dinner. So yeah, time to fill our bellies. You know, I'm so hungry. All right, you guys, so today is the F1 race and they're just about to get started. So let's go and watch it because it's super exciting. It is finally the day that every Formula 1 fan has been waiting for. It is the day where we will find out who is about to win the Formula 1 race at the Grand Prix happening today at Baku City Circuit in Azerbaijan. People have come from around the world to experience this live and I must say it feels absolutely amazing to even be here. Here we got a glimpse of Max Verstappen, Red Bull racer, the 2021 world champion and Carlos Sainz, Ferrari racer at the Paddock Club. Everyone at the circuit was filled with lots of excitement, nervousness and emotions waiting to find out the winner for F1 Grand Prix. The top two winners are both Red Bull races, Max Verstappen being the first winner followed by Sergio Perez who secured the second position. We then had George Russell from Mercedes on number 3 and Lewis Hamilton on number 4 also from Mercedes. Our favorite moment out of the entire trip is definitely watching how Lewis Hamilton from Mercedes had jumped 5 positions in less than 15 laps. Needless to say, the entire F1 experience felt surreal to watch. We were also completely drawn to how stylish and cool the race cars looked. To sum it up, we have to say it was quite a thrilling experience. That's an Indian song. After that eventful day, we are going to have our last dinner in Baku. We are about to feast at Sizran Sah, a museum restaurant and trust us, this restaurant cannot be missed at Baku. This is a restaurant with a lot of historic touch and representation showcased at the museum bit and also has a restaurant with live music and mouth-watering food. Just like that, our four-day trip has come to an end. Baku has been amazing and we definitely recommend it if you're looking for traveling during any long holidays in the UAE or to just visit some place nearby. The costs for Baku are quite affordable compared to a lot of other places. It is the perfect little getaway, especially now if you want to escape the heat of UAE. For more such videos, make sure to follow Curly Tales Middle East. And until then, this is Abasif signing off. <laughs>